Good morning everyone. Welcome to Desert Owl Crafting. I'm Christy and today I have for you some bead embroidery kits I found on Etsy uh, from Ukraine. They are absolutely beautiful and I wanted to share them with you. I think the, that these bead embroidery kits are um, easy to do. They're just so pretty and the selection that they have on there is incredible lots of different sellers to choose from and the first kit in fact two kits here that I want to show you is from a store called Julia shop gifts and Julia is a lovely lady um, I sent her a message first and I highly recommend this I sent her a message first asking her if her shop was still open considering that they're mailed from Ukraine with the conflict going on there and she said yes they were so I'm all into supporting small business and uh, the opportunity to support small business in Ukraine I think is a, a really good thing to do so the first kit that I want to show you now it did come in a package like let me show you like this it came in a package like this the manufacturers Abris art but I took these two out of the packages and I put them in my project bags that I use so that I can keep everything together and I have more space. So the first two kits aren't going to be in a package. So this first one comes with everything you need except I don't think it came with any thread. It might have, but I don't think so. Here's all the beads that you get. And then it comes with an instruction kit. The instruction sheet gives you directions in Ukrainian and in English. What is really great about these instruction kits is they cover absolutely everything. They show you the stitch direction and how to stitch this. Like for instance, this would be for round beads. This is for oval beads. Very, very, very easy to understand. Then it gives you step by step, go up at point A, down at point B, and then how to take care of your, your picture afterwards. So all their kits come with this instruction kit. Very thorough. Really appreciate that. Now the canvas here, it's, a, it's, it's like painter's canvas. And there's no holes in it. So you really do need to use a sharp needle, and they do send those. I'll show them to you in a minute. Now this first kit I got, I just absolutely love. It's a walking lion. It's called Golden Lion. Isn't he just magnificent? He's so pretty. And this, I got to do a little adjustment, sorry. And this kit is very clear. It's a partial. So this area in here, you won't, you won't have to worry about. And it's really pretty because what I found is is like the light or the bead that's going to be coming out of his forehead. I don't know if you can see that, but it emits a bit of a glow coming out of it. Super colorful. Look how clear those mar those uh, markings are on here. The pattern is so super super clear. Now this canvas will show you the item number and the name. It gives you directions on how to care for it over here. Up at the top, it's in three languages. It says the image on the canvas provides an additional 20, an additional 20 millimeters, 0.8 inches around the perimeter for the possibility of so-called gallery wrap without frame. If you can see the line here, this goes all the way around the canvas so that if you take canvas stretcher bars when you're done with this and then you can fold it over there along the edge of the canvas, have it go down the side and then you can staple it on the back which is what I'm going to do. I mean you can frame these too but my husband um, has picked up some wood for me and for some of my diamond paintings he has made me I'm going to raise this up so you can see a little better he has made me uh, canvas stretcher bars, and that's what I do, is I'll use those. Isn't he just majestic? 
Check him out. He is so, so pretty. Now, when we look at the beads, these beads are from Czechoslovakia. They're, is it Preciosa? I can't say that right. I apologize. They're glass beads. They're not plastic beads. They're beautiful. Some of the colors are shiny. Some of them are more matte. And this picture in particular, oh, look at that. Purples. Lots of golds and oranges. This this one actually comes with beads that aren't tiny beads like that. There's big gold beads here. So they would go on like these big spots. And then they have these little little guys that are really super sparkly. These look like almost they have a sparkle of a diamond. And then there's this big one. And that one I'm thinking will go right here on the front of his head. And then bigger orange beads. So this lion is going to have quite a variety of beads on him. And the needles that come with it, there's three needles. And like I said, they have to be pointy sharp to get through this canvas. And what you have to remember when you're doing this is that I found that I can do it in hand, but I just don't seem to be able to get the tension right. So I do put it into... Um, a scroll frame. I won't use a cross stitch or embroidery hoop because this canvas is, is rather thick. It's rather thick feeling. And I mean, you can squish it and stuff, but yeah, I put it in a scroll frame to keep it nice. And it is the same kind of canvas someone would paint on. And I just had to share this with you because he is just so pretty. He is just so pretty. Okay, so that's the first one. That's Julia Shop Gifts. The measurements on him, because I measured it beforehand, this one is 11.8 inches by 20.9, which makes it 30 by 53 centimeters. It has 27 colors, 10,857 beads. So yeah, he is just awesome. The other one I got from Julia Shop Gifts is different. Comes with the instructions, like the last one. Oh, sorry about that. Things are moving around on me here. This has just been a crazy day. There's the beads. I love this picture. I had to get this picture. I love the moon. I mean, I really love the moon. This picture has the moon and the cactuses. It's got, a, it's also partial, so you've got just the picture with the stars in the sky. It's got the Swagaro cactus, and it's got like, oh, I know that's not an aloe. It's got the prickly pear cactus with the flowers. Some more cactuses down here. I'm going to bring it up and show you the printing. if my camera will focus. Very clear, very, very, very clear printing on this. This is also by Abris Art. It gives you all the information on it, the name of it, Night in the Desert. And then one thing I forgot to say with the lion is off to the side here is your legend. It has a cut line so that you can cut this off and keep it handy to refer to. So this is really easy to do. As an example, I mean, anybody can do this. It's so e They make this so easy to do. For example, let's say these symbols here, and really they're just circles or ovals. You'll, that's a green with a dark line around it. You just come on over here, and number, six, number 16 here is green with the dark line around it. So you know in that spot, you're going to use beads number 16, which is going to be this one right here. Okay, there it gets better. 
I'm so sorry about the glare. Beads number 16. So look at these colors. This one also has the shiny ones. And it has, oh, there's some really shiny ones. And then it's got the matte ones. This one doesn't have any special shapes. But it's got some teeny, teeny, tiny. Look at how tiny those are. They're smaller than, say, for instance, these for sure. Yeah, way smaller. Really tiny ones. And then they give you three needles. I'm thinking this super long one that has a tiny, tiny eye is for the tiny, tiny beads. If I got to figure out now how to thread that. So three needles. This one has 13,095 beads, 31 colors. It measures 11 by 16 and a half inches or 28 by 42 centimeters. And shipping from Ukraine, this was a couple months ago. Um, I was really surprised. It only took maybe, oh, three weeks or so. It didn't take very long at all. Um, that made me really happy, and I was really happy that I could support her. All right, now, the last one I got to show you today, this one, I kept the package. This one is called Wonderful Lily. Get that light out of there a little bit. Abra's Art, Wonderful Lily. The front of the package tells you the size in millimeters and in inches, the number of colors, and how many beads there are. The back of it, in three different languages, just talks about what they, what they offer. And it's nice, harder cardboard. So it shipped really, really well. And let's see what's inside here. This is how they come. They all come with those instructions. I don't think we need to go through that again. But in order to appreciate these beads, because I have started working on this, so I wanted to show you my work in progress. This is the picture. I found this scroll frame. I think it was on Amazon. It's also from Ukraine. I love the scroll frame. It is kind of like a Q-snap where it has these clamps on it and then these these turn this lily is gorgeous so full of color and you can see where I've been working on it the um, key thing to remember here and this is hard this I mean this one thing is hard for me is that on oval beads let me see if I can show you on oval beads, you have to go from side to side, where round beads, it's up and down. So I've only been working on oval beads here. I mean, I'll show you how tough this canvas is. Oh, you didn't hear. Sometimes it pops. But it's pretty strong stuff. And sometimes you really got to push if you hit, like... Um, a place where there's a thread crossing another. And what I've been using is this monofilament or this transparent thread, Coates and Clark's. I had bought a bead embroidery picture off of Amazon, I think the first one. And I contacted the seller because it didn't come with thread and asked her what thread to use. She said number five transparent thread. I do have white thread too, um, but I'm kind of apprehensive about using it. I did start using it um, because I didn't want it to be visible in any way on the side, but this, this stuff is just so tiny. I don't really like this stuff because it tangles and knots way too easy. So I think I might continue with the white. We'll see how it goes. But anyway, isn't that pretty? 
I just think this is going to be spectacular. It's so gorgeous. Now, and when you look at the beads for this picture, you'll see what I'm talking about. The colors of these beads, like this red, is just glistens. It's just so pretty, and same, same with the green. They're all in number order. It's just like a diamond painting. There's just really not any way to mess this up. You can't rip the canvas, even if you have to take stitch, take, take things out because you put down a wrong color bead. That pink is so pretty. You can't rip the canvas at all. So it's kind of foolproof, I think. But yeah, this is going to be so nice. And I wanted to show you what I was working on, one of the things I was working on. So you think, don't think I just make videos and don't ever make anything. Because I know sometimes I've wondered that myself. But yeah, really pretty easy to do. I highly recommend it. I noticed that most of the sites that are not Etsy, when you want to do a bead embroidery, it's like a little, a little figure or like a little Mill Hill scene or something. I wanted something big, and this is just uh, beautiful. Now, this store is not Julia's Shop Gifts. This one is a word I cannot pronounce. Baron, Baraginyana? Baraginyawa. This lily is 14 by 6 inches wide by 11.8, 16 colors, 14,951 beads, 37 by 30 centimeters. So her, their selection, like Julia's shop gifts, her selection, she has almost 500 different pictures to choose from. Um, and if there's more than just these two sellers on Etsy, I, fa I find that Etsy is, is probably... For me, the best source for me to try to find these bead embroideries, if anybody knows of other places that I can find them at, please let me know because I really love them and I think they're absolutely beautiful. And it's a nice change from doing a cross stitch and it's actually made me want to add beads to my cross stitch in certain pictures because I just love the look of it. I mean, really, look at that. Isn't that, that's just going to be so pretty. I think it's really cool how it goes into a spiral. And it takes a little bit longer. And then what I, what I use for my beads too when I do this is a diamond painting tray. This is a tray I got from Bella Art Nicole. I love their trays. And um, I just use a diamond painting tray to put my beads in. And those of us who do diamond painting, we know we got plenty of those, right? So there you have it. This is uh, my video for you today. This is bead embroidery from a couple shops in Ukraine that I found on Etsy. If you like this video, um, please like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you'll know the next time I have a new video up. I appreciate you watching very much. Thank you and have a great weekend. See you soon. Bye.